Yo, what is up guys and welcome to another Wild Rift video and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys everything you need to know about Samira um, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys how her abilities work, how to combo her abilities, this is very important by the way about Samira uh, When to use her abilities, against what you should play her, how to build her and all that kind of stuff So there's timestamps in the description to skip to all of that Just a fun little fact, my mother's name is also Samira So I have a, I have a person, you know, I have some extra love for this champion So, let's get into it Samira is not the easiest champion. I'm gonna say that already right now. So let's just let's just try to make it as easy as possible. First of all, Samira builds a combo by dealing damage with attacks or abilities. I'm gonna make this easy. She like you have a letter. You hit an enemy, boom, you can see the E, then it goes to B, then it goes to C, then it goes to B, A, and S. Just like how grades work, right? Uh, like S is the best, then you have A, B, C, D, E. So you start at E and you have to get to the F. So why do you want to get those letters? First of all, every time you go up a letter, you get 3.5% bonus movement. So you become much faster. As you can see, like now I'm faster, which is very helpful for multiple reasons. Samira has very low range, so you want to be fast so you can kite the enemy. Second reason is this right here. Let me show you. You unlock your ult, and your ult has no cooldown. Just so you guys know, your ult has no cooldown, you can use it again, literally. You stack up to S tier again, you can literally just use it again. So, next up, Samira's attacks and abilities in melee range deal an additional amount of magic damage. And it doubles based on the enemy's target missing health. So, you can see the ranged attacks do a certain amount of damage. When you get close, you use a sword and you do bonus magic damage. This is not an insane amount of damage, ever, but it's worth it. Like, if you're one v one an enemy ADC, it is worth to get close to them to be able to hit them with the sword. Because everything is just, it does more damage. So, um, first ability. It says a lot of stuff, but basically what it does is you shoot a shot, like you see, boom, you shoot something. So the first enemy hit gets hit, as you can see. You just have to aim it and they get hit. If you get close to them, you slash. And yes, this is an AoE slash. Let me just show you. So, oops, this is an AoE slash, so you hit multiple enemies with it. So what is important to know about this ability? The basic attack cancel. So basic attack, first ability, basic attack. Same works with the close range one. Basic attack, first ability, basic attack. So it's very good to stack up, you know, it's very good to stack up. And I don't recommend you to randomly use it like this. Well, you can to just poke the enemy, but it really doesn't do that much damage up until the very late game. I really recommend you to do it with, with the basic attack first, but the basic attack. That's, that's kind of what you want to do. And I know I'm already talking about combos, I'm sorry, but this one is just so important that I had to mention. Next up is the second ability. So you have to very carefully read this one and very carefully use it because it has a lot of potential. Samira slashes around her for 0.75 seconds. Damaging enemies twice, very important to read the twice part, for an uh, amount of physical damage. And you destroy any enemy missiles that enter the area. So like Mundo's first ability, Ezreal's first ability, Jinx's ultimate, uh, Corky's abilities. You block all of them. You, you take them all away in this whirlwind. So let me show you. You do damage twice. Boom, boom. But as you can see, you only stack once. It goes from B to C, but it stays at C. Why? The reason is... If you damage an enemy with the same attack or ability, it won't give you an extra stack. So you stack the enemy twice. How do you get the double stacks out of it? Let me show you. You combo it with your third ability. I'll tell you about the third ability later, by the way. Second ability, third ability, second ability. See that? Then it charges it up. Sorry, then it stacks it up twice. Let me just shoot it the enemy. Uh, it has to reset, but yeah. You can hit it twice on the enemy and get two stacks out of it. Second ability, third ability, second ability. It goes to C immediately. So now talking about the third ability, the third ability allows you to dash through an enemy. So you dash through an enemy like this. And it works on Baron, it works on Dragon, it works on Herald, it works on enemies. And yes, it works on turrets as well, as you can see. So you can dash through anything. And it works on big monsters as well. Um, you slash through an enemy and you gain 40% attack speed for 3 seconds. So like, you know, you can see, boom, boom, but when I dash, it becomes much faster. Very, very strong. Um, and now, the first ability, you can actually combo it with the third ability. And look what happens, when you use your first ability during your third ability, you, you do bonus damage, like bonus physical damage to anyone that you hit. And it always hits. Let me show you, you can hit multiple enemies with this combo, look. Boom. And keep in mind, I'm using my first ability during my third ability. You get two stacks, and you do an insane amount of damage. So like this, see that? I 
instantly get two stacks. So if you can, it's totally worth to do it like this. Like third ability, first ability, because it gives you so many stacks and it does a very nice amount of free damage. Next thing to know about the third ability, if Samira scores a takedown, Wild Rush cooldown is reset. So the cooldown of the third ability is reset. Whenever you get a kill, the whole cooldown gets reset. Now let's talk about her ultimate. This is where it's at. So Samira can only use this ability if her current style rating is S. So you have to get S tier, right? Samira unleashes a torrent of shots from her weapon. It reduces her movement speed by 30%, so not as much as Ka uh, Katarina. This ultimate is similar to Katarina's ultimate, but you are faster during it. You hit up to five enemies and you do insane damage, like really crazy. Let me just show you how it works. Look, when you get S rank, you can, like, these are four enemies next to each other. Look, look at that. This is insane. It does insane, insane damage. One quick tip about the ultimate is you have to be careful because you are immobilized by the fact that uh, you get less movement speed because your movement speed is lose by 30%. Like, you're much slower. And if you're in a one versus one, it doesn't even necessarily does it doesn't even necessarily do more damage than you actually just using your abilities on that team. It's especially good during team fight. Like if you're up against four enemies, of course it does much more damage than just your basic attacks, right? And um, crit is very good on uh, Samira because her abilities skill with crit. So let's talk about combo. First, let's start with a very easy thing. Oh, something else I forgot to tell you is whenever an enemy is CC'd, uh, you see it like this. You can extend that. Well, you can refresh the duration to 0 0.5 seconds. Look at what I mean. Boom, boom, boom. You see that? I with your attack, your shot, it, it, it turns the airborne into a 0 0.5 second. The reason that I'm not saying extends is because it resets it. So, for example, if my Malphite holds the enemy, which knocks up the enemy for like two seconds, and I instantly use my basic attack, it doesn't do anything. But if I use my basic attack at the ending of his ultimate, then it extends it for well, then it resets the cooldown to 0 0.5 seconds. Again. So this is very big. Boom, boom, boom. See that? Like, I can, if, if he gets stunned or anything, I can extend the duration like that. It's very, very used. Like, if your Alistar goes in, for example, you can then very easily extend it with your basic attack, the duration. Um, next up is a flash combo, which is first put it in flash. You can see, you can do it like this. Very nice, very... I mean, I guess it's fine, but you're probably not going to be using it too much unless you want to finish off the enemy. Oh, unless you want to finish off the enemy. Very important combo. Basic attack first ability, basic attack. This is... You're gonna use this super, super often. So this is a very, very important combo. Basic attack first ability, basic attack. And of course, um, second ability, third ability. I already showed you guys this combo. This is so huge, this combo. Absolutely huge. Like, oh, it's it's just such an important combo as well to use because it gives you three stacks for free. So like a very easy way to get all your stacks is basic attack, first ability, basic attack, second ability, third ability. Oh, oops. Second ability, I need to use them as dummy. Second ability, it, the targeting goes out of the dummy. Yeah, there we go. Because it tr tries to go for this dummy. That's what's happening. Basic attack, first ability, basic attack, second ability, third ability, second ability. You see how fast it goes? Like, you can do this so unbelievably fast. Let me just show you. I missed one. Oops. I missed the first hit on the second ability. What happened is I wasn't in range. So like you can see the range of the second ability is lower than the range of the basic. So you do have to be close to the enemy for this to work. So basic attack, first ability, basic attack, second ability. Like, the targeting is so messed up for me. It's so annoying. I'm gonna do it one more time. Basic attack, first ability, basic attack, second ability, third ability, second ability. That's how it works. Like you can see I'm not doing it perfectly right now because it's actually a pretty hard combo. And the, the targeting is getting messed up with a lot, so it's very annoying. <laughs> okay. So that is a way to get your uh, the cooldowns off. You can also do it with basic attack, second ability, basic attack, first ability, basic attack, and then third ability. There's a lot of different ways. Like that, that one is just a bit safer. With this one, let me show you why it's safer. Basic attack, second ability, basic attack, first ability, basic attack, and then third ability. Because then it's instantly gonna put you into the, in the middle of a team fight and you go in like this. The reason that it's a bit different from the other one is because the other one is like you you it's a bit harder to execute. Basic attack first ability and then second ability, third ability, and then instant second ability. You have to hit an enemy with that second ability. So it's just a tad bit harder and it can't screw you up. 
but the one that I just showed you, it gives you instant access to the third ability, and you go in with your ultimate, and you use the ultimate like crazy. Um, but yeah, as I said, there's diff like many different ways to go in, but the one combo that I want you guys to keep in mind, the one that I showed you in the beginning, basic attack first, basic attack third ability, and then second ability. If you mess this up, let me show you what, what you could do if you mess it up. Just another basic attack, like just another basic attack at the end. Basic attack first, but it's basic attack. Let's say you messed it up, you do it like this. Just another basic attack, and you have your ult. So don't panic to screw up combo. Don't panic. You should only panic if you didn't reach A. Because as long as you reach A, and then you still have a basic attack. Like now, you screwed up. If you have B, this is screwed up. Because your basic attack is going to put it on A. And then you have to wait for the next cooldown to be up. So try to get your combos down to the point that you can very easily get Samira to A rank. Basic attack, first ability, basic attack, second ability, third ability, second ability. That one is the best one, and then you get your ult. So, that's very important for stamina. I can show you a million different combos. Like, you can also, if you're up against an ADC, you get close to that ADC, basic attack, first ability, basic attack, second ability, basic attack, and you get ST. This is like if you're 1v1ing an ADC. So, like, let me show you again. You don't even basic attack in the beginning, you instantly go in. Basic attack, first ability, basic attack, second ability, you get A tier, and then basic. Then you have your ult. Let me show you fast. Third ability, basic attack, first ability, basic attack, second ability, basic attack, ult. This is if you're like 1v1ing an ADC or something. Then this is a very, very nice combo. And I don't want to overwhelm you with too many combos because these are the most important. Quickly get to the build. Keep in mind for the build, it may be subject to change because, you know, the champion just came out. But there is a few key items that you always want to go for on Samira. The first one is Bloodthirster. It's like, this is literally Samira's item. It's as if this item has been made for Samira. So this is the build that I constructed for now, which is Bloodthirster, Infinity Edge. Next up, you go for... So you don't really go for Glutinous Griefs because you already have a Bloodthirster. It's like it gives so much. It gives 15% physical vamp. And you, go, and you go for Hunter Vampirism as well, which gives you 6% more Vampirism when fully stacked. So for your boots, you either want to get Faded Steel Cap or like the Boots of Fury. Boots of Fury are great to give her even more attack uh, movement speed. Sorry. Again, this is very important because she has low range. That's also why Bloodthirster is very important, right? Because she has such low range. So Bloodthirster, Infinity Edge. Third item, you go for Mortal Reminder to penetrate armor. Fourth item, you go for Guardian Angel. And fifth item, Storm Razor. You don't go for attack speed on Samira. Because her third ability already gives her attack speed. You don't really need attack speed. And of course her ultimate doesn't scale with attack speed at all. She has very good AD scaling. So you want to get heavy AD items. Um, another item that could potentially be good on Samira is Death Stamp. I mean, it's not going to be the best. But you could go for it if you're against like a heavy AD composition. Then instead of the Storm Razor, you could go for the Death Stamp. For your enchantment, you either want to get uh, Stasis Enchant or the Quicksilver Enchant. One of the two. Quicksilver is very good because your ultimate can get cancelled by CC. So you can use Quicksilver to block CC. You know, that would have cancelled your ultimate. Stasis is of course good because Stasis is just such a good enchantment. It's squishy. For your wounds, you always want to get Conqueror. Always. It's like the easiest. Samira is one of the easiest champions to stack uh, uh, Conqueror on because you just hit the enemies with so many different things because that's how you have to stack her letters. So inst of course, uh, naturally you're going to be stacking Conqueror very easily as well. Secondary, you go for Hunter Vampirism. You're going to get the kills very easily. And this is just very good. The Vampirism is amazing. Third one, you go for Nullifying Orb. And fourth one, you either go for Sweet Tooth if you have a rough matchup. Or the Hunter Hunter Genius if you want to have a cooldown reduction. For your spells, you either go for Barrier or Exhaust. And then you go for a Flash. So make sure you guys give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Now I'm going to make a Cyan Guide. So I'll see you guys. Wait, let me make it full screen. In the next Valdrif video. Bye-bye.